The AS1 has two hardware controls for the envelopes. The envelopes control the sound over time, from when the key is first played to when it is released. Attack gives the sound a more sudden or gradual start. And decay release can give the sound either a sharp finish or a longer tail at the end of the sound. The AS1 has both a filter envelope and an amp envelope. These are both adjusted by the two envelope controls simultaneously. Using the parameter control, you can access each of the envelopes attack, decay, sustain and release controls individually. Attack is the time taken for the sound to go from nil to peak, beginning when the first key is pressed. Decay is the time taken from the peak of the attack level to the designated sustain level. Sustain level is the level of the sound's duration until the key is released. Release is the time taken for the level to drop from the sustain level to zero after the key is released. The filter envelope is used to control both filters over time, using attack, decay, sustain and release. Scroll to the filter envelope and set the low pass filter amount. This sets the amount of modulation from the filter envelope to the low pass filter. The higher the amount, the more the filter is opened and closed over time. You can invert the filter amount too. This changes the starting point of the filter from closed to open. High pass amount works in the same way, but instead affects the high pass filter. Next, you have the ADSR controls for the filter envelope. You can set these manually. This uses attack, decay, sustain, and release. As soon as you turn the attack or decay release controls, this will override what you've set in the menu. Amp envelope amount sets the maximum level of sound. The amp envelope is used to control the volume of the sound over time. Again, this uses attack, decay, sustain and release. When velocity is switched on, the envelope amount is controlled by how hard you press the keys. This only applies to an external keyboard or controller with velocity sensitive keys or pads. Like the filter envelope, the attack and decay release will always be overridden by the hardware controls. <laughs>